Welcome to Chess Dog, where chess players come to learn how to win. My name is John Montgomery, and today we're looking at our final example of the open King's Indian defense structure and the last plan we are going to look at in this pawn structure. And the move we're going to look at is g6, g5. It looks strange at first. You've already played g6, and you're giving up the f5 square. But sometimes you have to give up squares to get squares. And in this case, in return, you're getting the f4 square and control of some of those kingside dark squares. It looks odd, but it can be very effective. Grandmaster Mauricio Flores Rios gives a lot of examples in his book, Chess Structures, a Grandmaster Guide. Let's look at one of those examples now. The position you see before you is a game between Grandmaster Stellan Brynell with the white pieces from Sweden and Anastasio Pavlidis from Greece with the black pieces. And after bishop to d7, black is threatening that e4 pawn with two knights, the queen, and the rook. By the way, if you get value from this video, be sure to like and subscribe. So white defends e4 with f3, and black plays knight to h5 to put pressure on the dark squares, the g3 and the f4 square. White plays king to h2 to defend g3. And now our key move, our star move of this strategy, g5. Black controls the f4 square. In return, he gives up the f5 square, but he's going after those dark squares. So let's say, for example, uh, White did not play this, but let's say he plays bishop, uh, excuse me, knight to f5, which would have been a, a decent choice. Bishop takes knight, pawn takes bishop, then bishop to e5, hitting that g3 pawn along with a knight at a h5, bishop f2 to defend, then queen to f6, and black has a slight edge uh, with control over the dark squares. White's best move here is queen to d2. Uh, black defends g5 with h6, then both sides centralize, queen to f2, bishop to f6, rook g1, and king to h8. Now, uh, the computers do prefer white a little bit here, but Grandmaster Rios thinks this is a playable position for black. In the game, Grandmaster Brunel played rook a to d1. Black responded with bishop to e5, continuing to target that g3 square and those dark squares. White defended with bishop to f2. If instead he had defended with the knight by playing knight d to e2, black could respond knight to e6, and after queen d2, both sides, you see, are heavily pressuring the f4 square. At the queen to do d2, black can take on g3, knight g3, h5, bishop g5, queen g5, queen g5, knight g5, and h4 from white. But then black can just play king to h8. And if white takes the knight, then he plays h4, winning back the pinned knight. And if instead knight c to e2 to defend g3, knight to e6, Black has control of f4, can play on the g-file. The game is balanced. White played bishop to f2. Black plays queen to f6, adding to defense uh, at the attack of the f4 square, the attack on the d4 knight. Knight c to e2, defending the d4 knight and the g3 square. a5. So now white can't play b4 and kick that knight on c5 away. Queen to d2, king to h8. Black wants to play on the G file. Rook to G1, Rook to G8, Rook D to F1, Rook to G6, preparing to double on that file. Bishop to E3, trying to add more control to that F4 square. Rook A to G8. Now the game has been pretty competitive up to this point, uh, but now white makes a mistake. He goes pawn hunting. Queen takes A5, and now he is losing. Do you see the star move for black? That's right. Knight takes g3, and black is completely winning. White takes the knight, bishop g3 check, and in this position, if he takes the bishop, then queen to e5 check, and when the king goes to f2, knight e4 check, unveiling an attack on the queen at a5. Pawn takes knight, queen takes a5 would win. So he goes to h1, rook h6, pressuring the king down the h-file, knight f5, bishop f5, e f5, queen f5, and in this position, the grandmaster resigned because the threat of rook to h6 
with mate coming is decisive. So this is the last video on our open King's Indian defense structures. If you want to see the, the rest of the videos, we have a King's Indian playlist I would encourage you to check out. So if you watch all of these videos on this structure, you're going to know inside and out both the plans for white and the plans for black, and you have the chance to have a real advantage against your opponents. Thank you for joining us at Chess Dog. We'll see you again soon. Bye.